The Baltic states, devastated by war, are forcibly joined by Stalin to his empire. Commissars arrive to introduce Soviet reality. Land is expropriated and goods commandeered. Weapons acquired from both German and Soviets are turned by partisan groups against the new occupying army. But these are small peoples, no match for the Soviet forces ranged against them. In this region, where the terrain is not favorable to partisan warfare, the nationalists are unable to resist the NKVD troops for long. And so the peoples of the Baltic states join so many others in Stalin's dance of death. One of the numerous reports of those days. It records the exile to timber enterprises in Siberia of 300 Lithuanian families accused of anti-Soviet underground activities. Many thousands more will follow them into forced labor in the Far East as the revolts are suppressed. There is also unrest in the Western Ukraine. A Ukrainian NKVD report about the operations against nationalist forces. In one month alone, over 2,000 people are killed and over 3,000 arrested. For many long years to come, these camps will become filled with Ukrainian nationalists who carry on the struggle in the forests of the Western Ukraine with the forces of the communist regime. This bitter, protracted struggle by the Ukrainian Nationalist Insurgency Army against Stalin's regime is brutally suppressed. Only Stalin will decide what national characteristics will remain. Only folk dances. Or songs. But the only songs that were allowed were propaganda songs, which painted the people's lives in the most positive light. Like the words of this song, urging the people good health and live prosperously in this prosperous land. But the people themselves knew in what conditions they were living. In these first post-war summers, Soviet reconstruction has the weather to fight too. In the Ukraine and other fertile grain-growing areas of southern Russia, the year 1946 brings first drought, then crop failure. There are no reserves. In the high summer of that year, famine once again visits the whole country. Throughout the country, millions of children are at risk Many thousands of babies die before their first birthday. It is a further cross for the already overburdened peasantry to bear. <laughs> 